One of the best things about Football Manager is taking those unknown wonder kids from zero to hero. Well, in today's video, we're going to give you a full team of 11 of these exact wonder kids, players that are all under the age of 17, if I'm remembering correctly, all very young players that you can sign as investments for the future. Hi everyone, Jake here for FM Scout. Welcome to the video where, as mentioned, we're going to be looking at some of the best young wonder kids to sign for the future in FM23. All of these players are 16 or younger and none of them are ready made to play for Manchester City, but with the right development, these guys can become top tier talents and play for those huge clubs. So let's start off with our goalkeeper. And we start off with 16-year-old English goalkeeper Tommy Setford of Ajax's under-18s. Now, I believe his brother, Charlie Setford, is also a goalkeeper who plays for Ajax's youth sides. But he looks like a great choice at the age of 16. I won't mention it again, but a lot of these players are able to be approached to sign. Um, Tommy Setford isn't, but a lot of these guys in this list, because of how young they are, you will be able to go ahead and try and offer them a contract outright. So just bear that in mind. That will be an option. And also just remember that some of their attributes may fluctuate in your save. But if we're talking about a very good young goalkeeper with a lot of strong attributes already, Tommy certainly fits that bill. We don't have to travel too far for our next player because in that same youth team, we will find our centre-back option, Jorel Hato of Ajax. Now, if you do enjoy this video or it gives you at least any help at all, if you could smash that like button for us, we would massively, massively appreciate it as we try and make sure our videos are all doing well after the recent channel hack. Subscribe for more content like this and let us know what list of players you'd like to see next. But yeah, back to our centre-back, Jorel Hato, who straight away you can see has some phenomenal physical attributes like so, so good. For a player of his age to have those, that's really special. Again, it might be slightly different in your save because they are so young. But all of these players have the potential to be a wonder kid in your save, so make sure you scout them. But he's a great player physically, maybe lacking in the technical department, but that's fine at the age of 16. And with a lot of these players, because they are so young, you can fine tweak their attributes and mold them into a certain role because by the time they're ready for your team in three years, they'll be a completely different player. But Jarrell Hato is a very excellent an option at the back and a great pick if you want a young centre back. Our other centre back follows a similar story, good physical attributes, everything else might need a little bit of work. His mentals actually aren't bad and the player in question is 15 year old Benfica centre back Jao Fonseca who can be a top tier player in your save. Benfica have been producing a lot of great young centre backs over the last few years and it looks like Fonseca is the next one on that list. His valuation isn't too high and he can certainly become one of the best centre backs in the world with the right development and he's got so long to develop too. By the time he's 19, 20, he'll be five seasons in and he'll be a completely different player, probably six foot three by then as well. He looks like he could be a great choice. So scout him and see if he's worth picking up in your save. At left back, we have the Brazilian wonder kid Esquadina, who plays for Fluminense out in the Brazilian divisions. He actually plays for their under-20 side, and at the age of 16, he's already looking very promising, especially in this save, with high work rate, tackling, technique, teamwork, passing already at a great level. Physically, he's quick, and whilst he needs to get stronger, that will happen over time. A good dribbler with good first touch as well. If his determination is different in your save, definitely worth picking up. And even with his determination on the low side, I could still see him developing into a great player. So definitely give him a check. And our other fullback is Elijah Dijkstra of AZ Alkmaar's under-18 side. Before we carry on and look at him though, I'd like to let you know I do have my own channel linked in the description where we've got some rebuilds and also a new series starting soon, a Let's Play series. I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd come along, check out the first few episodes and see what you think. Hopefully you will enjoy it, I'm sure you will, and hit the subscribe button over there for me. But yes, back to the player, Dijkstra, a very, very strong right-sided option. He's got a lot of potential and he needs to fulfill it before he's useful because realistically, at the age of 15, he hasn't got too much going for him. Decision making's great, tackling's great also, but a lot of these attributes are below par, as you would expect with a player so young. So it will take some time to develop him into a player that can contribute into your first team, but get his development right and you are sorted at right back for years to come. In midfield, we have the most obvious pick on this list. I haven't put Endrick in, I haven't put a few of the others, but I still feel like Warren Zare MRA is under appreciated enough to be in this video because a lot of people seem to overlook him. I don't know why, because he has some of the best potential out of any wonder kid in FM. He's already very well-rounded and good enough to contribute 
contribute in many sides around the world. And at the age of 16, he's bound to grow. He's available on loan at the start of this save. Even that transfer valuation might look like a lot. I actually think it would be worth it for Warren Zare Emery. He has such a high potential ability rating that he's near enough always worth going for, even on the worst end of that potential range. He's still going to be one of the world's best if you can develop him. But if he stays at PSG and doesn't get game time, his career will stunt and he won't become the player that he can. So get your hands on him early, give him a go, and I'm sure you won't regret it. Another midfielder that I've covered in a few videos before but still need to get the word out about is Lucas Bergvall, a Swedish 16-year-old. He plays for IF Bromma Podrikana, which is definitely not how you pronounce it, but it's a team in the Swedish divisions by the looks of things. I don't need to speak too much about him because just knowing that he's 16 and having attributes like this speaks for himself. A great passer who's very determined, strong physically, mentally and technically already, and he's so, so cheap. Maybe one of my favourite picks on this list. On his current contract, he's getting eight pounds a week. So definitely help this boy out. I mean, he looks like Prince Charming over there with that hair, but he is a great player, can play in a few roles, very versatile, and definitely one of the better wonder kids in this year's FM. Under 17 German international Tom Bischoff of Hoffenheim is a great player considering he's 16. His physicals do look quite weak in this save, but he's very strong technically already. Dribbling, first touch, passing technique, and finishing are already at a very nice level. High levels of teamwork, vision, and work rate, decision making, composure. You don't see many wonder kids with these kind of mental attributes and also some of those technicals at this age. He is very, very impressive, has high potential as well. And yes, like I say, his physicals are weak, but give him a couple years, get him training on some of those physicals, particularly when it comes to the pace, the natural fitness, all of that stuff is going to be needed in that midfield position. And I'm sure you won't regret it because he already looks phenomenal. He just needs to improve those physicals and he will be great for you. Ben Doak also has to be a shoe in for this list because at the age of 16, he has some great attributes and he also has Again, one of the higher potential ranges of any player in FM23. His transfer valuation was 15 to 20 million. I spoke to the agent. Liverpool don't want to sell him. They've put it at 30 to 45. You might have to wait a little bit before being able to sign him and make a realistic offer. But if you can eventually get him for a good deal, he can be a top draw player. Quick, pacey, good passing, off the ball work, determination, dribbling and first touch with a few improvements in some areas, this Scottish under-17 international can become one of the world's best. Another player that's highly rated in Football Manager, but also very much rated in real life, is 16-year-old Belgian national Julien Duranville of Anderlecht's youth team. Now, he is a great player in FM purely because he starts out with some amazing pace and agility. By the time he's 20, 21, you might even see 20 in that acceleration section. Even without focusing on it, I think you'd get it up to 90 just through his natural development. So he's already very quick on that wing. He's right footed and will be looking to cut in from that left hand side. He's a good finisher in this save, good dribbling, technique, passing and his vision needs some work but there is a lot of promise within this player. Flair as well, a good tricky winger. Maybe he's the person to fill in Eden Hazard's boots in that Belgian national team. Finishing off our team now, don't forget to like the video if you have enjoyed, but we have the Spanish 16-year-old striker who plays for Sevilla, Ica Villar. Now, he plays for one of their youth teams, I believe, but you can see this guy has a lot of talent straight away. He's got some good physical attributes, is a very good finisher for his age, good off-the-ball work, technique, heading, first touch. This guy looks like he could have a lot of full growth. I know it's suggesting poacher, but I think after a little bit of time developing, he will be a great advance forward. Five foot 10 won't cost you the world either and is definitely one to look at someone that I haven't came across before but all of these players can be top tier wonder kids obviously that does require the game to give you a good potential rating for some of these guys but at least a few of these out of the 11 will be top tier in your save so scout them all and some of these guys could net you massive rewards in the future and are definitely worth the investment let me know who you would have added to this list in the comments down below subscribe for more content like this and check out my channel in the description down below but most of all, have a great day, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.